Hi, so I recently started playing around with WebP image formats as they can be quite a lot smaller than your traditional JPEG or PNGs. So I started looking at if I could find any C-sharp code on GitHub to see what people how people had done it and I couldn't find many examples so I wrote a code sample which I'm about to show you and I thought I would just walk through the code if that's okay. Okay. Uh, so first of all, I'm making use of a couple of NuGet packages called uh, Image Processor and Image Processor Plugin for, for WebP. Then in my code, what I'm doing is, um, rather than just a straight converter, I thought I'd make it a bit more interesting and um, create a file system watcher. So you just drag any PNG or JPEG files in there and it'll automatically convert them into WebP formats. So I've got my uh, file system watcher and I say, check this folder. And if you f see any new um, files that have been created, raise this event. Uh, then I'm getting the extension in that event. And I'm saying if that extension is a PNG or a JPEG or well, JPEG in both spellings, um, if it's not that return, but if it is carry on and uh, call this method here, which is convert to, to WebP, passing it the ex ex existing path uh, the path with the uh, extension renamed to WebP uh, and the image quality, which I'm going to set to 80, seem to be a good default. So then in that class, I've got a couple of um, methods. Well, I've got uh, static methods. Um, I'm reading all the bytes into an array of bytes uh, into a memory stream, um, passing it into this image factory thing, whatever it is loading it, formatting it into the WebP, WebP format and then outputting it seems fairly simple uh, because it is. So let's hit play and see what happens. Right, so that's the file system watcher now, watching now. Then if I go to this folder, I'm going to drag a lot of files in there. PNGs to be more precise and it should convert them into WebP files. Now these are all PNGs that from my uh, website xamarinarkit.com if you've not seen that it's an interesting site where I'm experimenting using augmented reality with with Xamarin. A lot of people don't actually know you can use that but if you're a .NET developer you can write augmented reality apps using Xamarin. Uh, so here I go I'm going to put the images in there we go. And it looks like it has created, as predicted, a WebP image for each of the PNGs. And as you can see that some of the file saving, the, the, the file sizes um, and size savings are quite significant. So it's, it's taken uh, PNG down from 30 kilobytes to eight kilobytes, um, 25 to seven, uh, 20 to one. So the kind of images we're looking at it are these, um, yeah. So it's some quite good savings there. I'm quite happy with that. Very good. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And um, it like it's on GitHub. I didn't mention. So by the way, it's on my uh, GitHub page. So if you go find that, uh, you can pull down the code, have a look at it yourself, try it out, and even improve it. I bet you can improve that code. Okay. Thank you very much.